everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tastefully Balanced. I'm Miriam, and to continue our slow cooker month, I will be making jackfruit sliders. Now these are kind of like pulled pork or pulled beef, but it's completely vegan and meatless. So if you like slow cooker recipes, please subscribe and keep watching. Mm. Alright, welcome back. So let me first walk you through all the ingredients. It's very simple. This recipe is going to take you no time at all. So the main ingredient is jackfruit. So you want to buy um, unriped jackfruit. It doesn't matter if it's in the brine or water. I drained it and rinsed it very well and put it back in this can. I got this from Trader Joe's, but I think you can find this at any Asian store as well. Um, and then really another key ingredient is barbecue sauce. So you can uh, use any type of barbecue sauce that you like. This one here is a smoky and bold one from Trader Joe's, but whatever your favorite barbecue sauce. And then just a handful of other ingredients and really that's it. I'm just gonna dump everything into my slow cooker. Mix it all around and really it's as simple as that. Okay, so I put my barbecue sauce, my jackfruit, I've got some onion and garlic that I've diced up. That I'm gonna add. And then this is just a different type of vegetable base or vegetable broth. You just add, I just need half a cup, so I just add half a teaspoon of this base with half a cup of water. And that's just an alternative to using regular um, vegetable broth. So this is my half a cup of water. And then a few spices. So I've got cumin, onion, mustard, garlic, and paprika, and that's it. I'm gonna taste at the end for salt and pepper. So not gonna add it right now. And really that is it. You just mix it around. You can set it for four to six hours on low or two to three hours on high. So that is it. I will show you when that is all ready to go. All right, so while your sliders are cooking in the slow cooker, I'm gonna make the slaw that goes with it. So in front of me, I have broccoli slaw. You can use cabbage slaw or any type of slaw that you want. And then I'm just gonna make a dressing that coats this. So the first thing I'm gonna add is lemon juice. So I have a half a lemon. I've got a little bit of veganaise. You can use regular uh, mayonnaise instead. I've got some pickle juice, sriracha, and a little bit of Dijon mustard. I'm gonna add as well. Okay, and the last ingredient is just some salt and pepper. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. And then just mix this all around. All right, this looks perfect, nice and mixed. And now you just add it to your slaw. Okay. Then give your slaw a good mix. And then you just leave it in the fridge for however long. The longer it sits in the fridge and chills, the better tasting it will be. So I like to make this right after I turn on the slow cooker with the jackfruit so that it sits for just the same amount of time. All right, and that is all done. All right, so my jackfruit has been on warm for the last hour, and before that, it's been on low for five hours. So let's open this up and show you guys. Yum! So now what you wanna do, very similar to our salsa chicken, just take a piece like this on a plate with two forks, and look at that. It just resembles pulled meat. And then you, so you wanna just take out pieces like this and do it to the entire thing and then dump it all back in the slow cooker again. So I'm just gonna continue doing this. 
All right, so that looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and dump this all back in my slow cooker. This is so amazing. This looks like shredded chicken or shredded beef. All right, and then give it a good mix. That's awesome. All right, and so now what I have over here, I have some Hawaiian sweet rolls that I've just sliced up and then that coleslaw that's been in the refrigerator that we made earlier. So what I'm gonna do is just take a half of this sweet roll, take a little bit of that mixture, try not to make a mess, which I already did, <laughs> and then top it off with that coleslaw all right and then there you guys go cute little sliders I should have probably done this on a separate plate but that's okay now let's go ahead and taste test wow that jackfruit basically just soaks up all of the flavors of the barbecue sauce. It just kind of just like tofu almost soaks it up and the texture is really, really good. So this is definitely a thumbs up for me. Such a good recipe and you saw how easy it was. So if you like slow cooker recipes, I'm doing this all month long. Please comment, share, subscribe, and like. And as always, live life tastefully balanced. a vegan jazz so if you like slow cooker recipes recipes <laughs>